Now this, with the Zika virus exploding across Latin America, there are some experts reconsidering the wisdom of holding the Olympics in Rio in Brazil, holding there at all. Former U.S. women's swim team, seven-time Olympic medalist Amanda Beard is with us now. All right, Amanda, I know you no longer part take part in Olympic-level swimming, but if you were on the American team now, would you go to Rio? Absolutely. It's one of those things I think every individual needs to think about the risks. But where I am in my life, I would definitely be participating. Uh, there is some risk, obviously. If you're bitten by a mosquito down there and you contact the virus and you come back here, you could uh, juice up mosquitoes already in America. You could, maybe if you had a child, you'd have a problem with that. I mean, you understand the risk, but to you, the reward of participating is greater than the risk from Zika. That's an accurate statement? I think it's fairly accurate. I think each individual needs to kind of look at their life and lifestyle and see if this is something that they're willing to risk. And I think the right, right precautions need to be put in place um, to make sure that everyone is being as safe as possible and as healthy as possible and we are containing it to, um, to Rio. And uh, do you miss the Olympics? I have to ask. I mean, we've got pictures on the screen of you holding a gold medal right there. You're looking triumphant <laughs> as you accept it. Um, you miss it? Um, yes, but, but not really because I feel like I get to be a part of it every time I watch it on TV and I see my friends competing and winning medals and, and being excited and all the work that gets put into it for four years. Yeah, I understand that. It must be <laughs> extraordinary. I, I have to ask you this. Uh, Russia is facing allegations in the New York Times and elsewhere that it engaged in massive state-sponsored doping at the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics. Virtually every Russian medal winner, and there were a lot of them, were doped up. That's the re conclusion of an official report. So, Amanda, um, I'm not going to ask you whether you were surprised about this, but I am going to ask you, do you think Russia should be flat out banned from the Rio, Rio Olympics? Oh, that's a really hard question. I don't think that, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those situations where you need to look at it and be like, you can't not penalize these people for what they have done. Um, but then there are these athletes who are training so hard and, and they're clean and they do deserve to compete. So I'm conflicted as to really what I would do if I was in that position. Um, but, but again, I, I'm one of those people that um, I'm all for clean sports. You know, I look at athletes and athletics as these are people who train every single day they they sacrifice you know everything they put their heart out there but yeah. it's not it's not true unless you're a completely clean athlete and and that's just how i am and so for me personally i think there definitely needs to be some some penalties but then i feel bad for the athletes who yeah. Who are clean and, and just training really hard. It's just a dreadful situation, but the extent of the doping at the Sochi Olympics was, uh, among Russians was just so extensive that you have to wonder what on earth are you going to do about this? I mean, you can't just let it go on. But Amanda, look, uh, I, I hear your sighs and I hear the dilemma. I do understand that. Thanks very much for coming on the show this morning and being so open and honest about it. Much obliged to you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Sure.